Hey everybody, I'm jumping on today because I've been holding somatic circles for groups of people, teams within organizations over the past years, and I'm really enjoying the experience. And one thing that I'm helping people to understand through the somatic process and practices that I teach is that we've all been influenced by hundreds of years of domination culture. We've been preoccupied for a long time by dominance and doing and have become largely dysregulated in many ways as a result. And there are serious psychological and physiological consequences to that. And I outline those in detail in my programs and you can check out my website to learn more about my offerings. But what I wanna share with you today is that there are a number of habit patterns that flow from a dominance and doing culture and that negatively impact all of our relationships. And it's important to become aware of that because with that awareness, we become more able to address and unravel the habit patterns that don't serve us, don't build strong relationships. First, understand that it's a very human desire to wanna to come together. Isn't that why we form partnerships? We partner with another person, another individual. We form organizations, groups, communities. Even the act of conquest may speak to that desire to come together. But when we do that in a domination framework, we make the other an extension of ourselves. Now you're an extension of me. So if I see something that I want that you have, I'm gonna take it. And I'm gonna take as much as I can and think very little of giving anything back in return because you're an extension of me. Now you're supposed to want what I want, like what I like, be just like me. Or I'm supposed to want what you want, like what you like, be just like you. Or taking it a step further, you're supposed to be in my head, right? You're supposed to know what I want and need and anticipate those wants and needs without me having to say a word. Has anybody seen that? in their relationships, right? Does it work over the long term? Absolutely not. The point is to remember why we choose to come together. We come together not to merge. We come together to create new life, to bring our individual gifts to bear in order to create something new. This is me, that's you, and this between us is what we're co-creating together. When we stay really clear on that, we work magic in our relationships.